Okay, for those of you who don't know, this is a gear shift. Hey y'all, yeah, we're back. We're here at Arbuckle. It's Friday, almost four o'clock. We did real good today. It was cloudy when we left, but now it's clear. <clears throat> but anyway, what we wanna talk about today is transmissions. Now, I'm in a lot of groups on social media and different platforms, and some of them are mainly LTL, but most of them are just trucking in general. Different truckers that help other truckers, just other trucking stuff. But uh, there seems to be a debate and some I guess you'd call it insensitivity <laughs> that goes on when they start talking about transmissions. Uh, first, for me, when I started years and years ago, I started driving out of the Army. I was a truck driver in the Army, and I got out. Still too young to, that anybody would hire me for the insurance stuff. But finally, I got a job when I lived down in Central Texas. And I started out on eight and nine speed box trucks with the splitter. And then the first big, big truck I drove was a cab over freight liner. We had two cab over freight liner. I don't remember what motor was in that, but the other one was a international day cab with a 238 Detroit and they both had 13 speeds. So I drove those for a while and then went on to 10 speeds Super 10 and ended up in LTL and everything there had 10 speeds. And it wasn't until I think 2013 that SIA went to, started going to the automatics, the auto shifts. They're not truly automatics. They still have a clutch. They don't have a torque converter like automatic cars, but they have like more like a centrifugal clutch. But I didn't want them. I I no. I didn't want to go into automatic. You know, I had this mindset. I think that everybody had at first. You know, I'm a truck driver. That's it's not going to be fun anymore. But and but that's where they're going. All of them eventually. I think all the LTL companies are eventually going to auto shift if they're not already. But the debate on, I mean, the people talking about if you don't drive. A manual shift truck you're not a real trucker or if you have a auto auto shift only restriction on your license you're not a real trucker well I, mean, I never drove the two stick and three stick transmissions but for the guys that did when they started getting air transmissions and they started going to the one stick with, with the with the air shift and the splitters did they the old guys tell those new guys that if you don't have two or three sticks, you're not a real trucker? I don't think so. But, uh, so you know, they're going that way. It's, uh, I don't know what the reason is. If it's cost, if it's fuel efficiency, I haven't experimented enough to know if they're safer or not safer because I don't really go on a lot of mountains. And the auto shift seems to do work fine for me in the rain, so, I don't know, but I'm just, it's amazing that, you know, if you don't drive a manual transmission, you're not a real trucker, you're a steering wheel holder, or now, and all, and another thing that they talk about is if, if you wear, if you're wearing, if you don't wear jeans and boots, and maybe a button up shirt that snaps on the buttons, you're not a real trucker. Now. I agree, I see these guys in their pajamas and their flip-flops. Come on, we gotta do better than that. But shorts, tennis shoes maybe, you don't need steel toes or something. Uh, nice sweatpants that don't look like pajamas. I don't know, I mean, that's the progression of the driver that we're getting. We're not old uh, freight haulers with no air conditioning, no power steering anymore. So. Maybe we should take it a little easier on these guys that have auto shift transmissions. That's what I got. Uh, I sure don't mind it. 
when I get down into Dallas and there's lots of traffic. Now, if I was to get in, get into a Long Nose Pete or, you know, Big Hood Kenworth or something, if something happened like that, I would probably want 13 or 18 speed transmission. Just, I mean, something still in me that just wouldn't be right. But, but I'm not going to get down on guys that do have the auto shift transmissions. I've seen some long hoods, the newer ones that are going to the auto shift transmissions. Maybe it's because more ladies are driving and they can't deal with the stiff clutches. I don't know. Anyway, tell me what you think. Tell me what you drive. Over the road, guys, how's your fleet doing? If you're owner operator, what do you do? I know all you LTL guys, let me know. We got auto shifts, I know. Anyway, anyway, subscribe to the channel. Check out all the links in my description for all the things we do. Hit the like button, and we'll see you.